Well, hi again. Uh, in this video, let's cover the contractor's uh, screen in, in the directory. <clears throat> and again, how we get there is main menu. Just go to our directory. And we're going to click on contractors. But right before we do, I want to show you something pretty handy. So when you first click into your directory, down here we have insurance certificates, licenses, etc. that are going to expire within 60 days. Shows you the record type, what day it expires on. So therefore, now we know that we have to get hold of Frank and shoot him over an email um, and get him to go ahead and get us a new general liability insurance cert and that he's got to renew something on, on his license. And we know that if we stay on top of that, we're not going to get held uh, liable. So the other thing is in contractor's section, just like every other section, we can import uh, a list. So we give you the template. So you're just going to take our template, fill it out, file save as, has to be a CSV file, and upload your contacts. We can even help you with that. So if you get them into the template, send them to us and uh, we'll take a look at the template, upload it for you, let you check it out, and then we'll uh, go ahead and complete it. So there's that main screen there. So let's go ahead and uh, just click on contractors. Now, we have our list view over here, just like everywhere else in uh, Contractor Foreman. We can create a new contractor by clicking that button. <clears throat> Let's click on uh, Frank's record here. I'm going to unlock the record. Some of this is just obviously pretty straightforward, uh, but you've got first name, last name, company name. Now, this is the main contact um, at Baltimore Masonry. We do have a spot for additional contacts down here, which I'll cover shortly. This is the main contact goes up here. So there's this just just standard standard contact information. We do have a spot for tax ID, scope of work. What I can do, select multiple types if I want. And then when I'm looking for somebody that does asbestos removal, I can run a search for that type. And it'll pull up everybody that uh, does asbestos removal. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck those. Just got a little spot for a note. Frank's rarely on time. you got to remind him. We can also select tags. It's just an organizational tool, just like tags typically are. Scrolling back up to the top, I can load up an image. Uh, maybe his logo picture of Frank something and I even have the ability to make them a user of the system and in if you've watched any of the other videos maybe the one that covers roles you can really set the very granular access for what Frank in this case or contractor would be able to see but to give them access so this way they could log in <clears throat> see what they need to see. That does require a seat in Contractor Foreman. But I'm going to check that box. I can rank the contractor, add to favorites, and I would just set up a username and a password, set their role. <clears throat> so we could give them, say, a subcontractor role. We can see what they have access. And again, these are all modifiable. So you you have control over what, what this subcontract role or, or any other contractor type role would be able to see and do within the system. And then you just email them over the, uh, the login details once you've got that set. Going to be able to see when they last logged in. Typically, you're not doing this for time cards, but you do have the ability um, to take the user directly to a time card. Now, what that means is as soon as Frank logs in, then it's going to take him directly to a time card. Some people, <coughs> excuse me, some people do uh, track time for subcontractors. 
not a big fan of it, but if that's what your company does, you can make it real easy right there. I can assign them projects. Now, of course, you don't want them seeing all of the projects. You only want them seeing what they're, what they're assigned to. So you're going to set the assigned project. And you would just check whatever it is. There's the four projects that Frank is working on. Again, when he logs in, he can only see information for those four projects. Scrolling down, there's that additional contact, so you're kind of unlimited here. Um, you can just keep, click Add Additional Contact, fill out the basic fields, and you're good to go. Let's see, just like I did there. Then, tracking insurance certs and other licenses and other certifications. So just whatever you kind of need, you can type in to add uh, new ones, we're just clicking the green button. So if I want to track another insurance cert for Frank, I'm just going to click that, opens up a line, or some other license or other certification, I click that, opens up the line. And then down here, you can take those documents and actually load them into his record because you typically are going to get the insurance cert, uh, whatever other type of certifications, um, but you can load those up into here. Once, once Frank has been set up and working on jobs, etc., you have a jump to button, as I call it. So I could go over here and look at all the projects uh, that Frank has worked on, and I could go look at all of his subcontracts. Now I can save. I'm all done with that record. I'm going to go up and uncheck App Access. Well, that caught me. Ha! I didn't delete that. Contractor form has got your back. Doesn't let you make mistakes. I better not say that. So now we have the action box down here. Every screen in contractor form, and remember, has the action box. So I can import more con uh, subs or contractors from here. Get the template from here, view previous imports, quick little video guide, convert to a vendor, because sometimes as you're entering, especially when you're new to contractor forming, you go, oh, I meant to make them a vendor. So just switch over, convert them to a vendor. I'm never going to work with Frank again, <clears throat> so I can either archive or just delete the record. And remember, to delete something in contractor foreman, only an admin can delete that. So if I click delete, again, only an admin can do this, but you would come in and say delete, have to type it in. I'm not going to click yes, sir. So that's it for uh, <coughs> contractor record in the directory and contractor foreman. Thanks for checking it out, folks.